Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee and hot coffee will be coming up shortly. So I got my focus cards here. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, today we're going to do When Pigs Fly. So <laughs> it'll, it's going to take, a, it, when I'm, when the, it, it's on white paper, it's going to be a little flashy for a, a while until I add some color. But I'm going to do another uh, painted animal collage around it kind of thing. So hopefully we will be able to do that. <laughs> so hope everybody's doing well. And let me focus again, guys. Sorry. Got to find something for it to focus on. All right. We'll get started. Okay, so we're going to try. <laughs> I'm working on getting some new lighting. Until then, my video quality just doesn't stay focused well, no matter what I do. So we're going we're gonna to roll with it. So thanks, everybody, for being here this morning. And this was a pig sketch we did a couple weeks ago on stream. And so we're just going to go with him. And I'm going to do collage. And it's going to be When Pigs Fly. So I found some feathers, and so I'm just going to kind of, you know, play around with something like that. Some feathers, some, um, just kind of do the same type of collage and whatnot that we've done before. And uh, let's see, I think maybe, how do I want to do this? I've got to make him make it fit on little uh, somebody called him Wilbur from uh, what is it a uh, Charlotte's Web. So maybe that, maybe that, maybe that. Let's see here. So I'm just kind of tearing it to kind of get it to fit how I want. And like a, you know, y'all see me do this a million times, and I know I say that every video, but I always, it, it ends up getting painted, most everything is painted over anyway, so it's kind of just like my, you know, where I want the idea to be. So I'm just kind of, and the paper's like 14 by 17, and I just have it sitting on top of this pad for now, so I have something kind of cushiony while I'm working at first. But I'm thinking something like that, just, you know, he, can have, he might have more. <laughs> Hey Lisa, how you doing? And everybody else, let me refresh my chat and say good morning to everybody. Jeannie, Dana, E.T., Carrie, Janet, Art Unit, Jane, Lisa, Kathy, and Tracy UK. Thanks everybody for being here. And uh, also I'm going to make another announcement for them. Jane is going to do a uh, another zine swap. So we're going to have another one in the works. And Jane's going to host that. So we will be talking about that shortly. Okay. So let's see here about starting him. So what I'm going to do, as usual, and I have some jewels here. Maybe I'll put a jewel on him, her, him. Of course, I have to have some kind of a watch part. Or maybe that could be part of the wings. Hmm. Hmm. It's, all a, it's just a process. I just kind of go with it, guys. These particular animal collages don't necessarily have stories to them, like my, some of my collage and mixed media does. Um, these are just more fun. <laughs> these are more for fun than anything, than they are for like a particular story, you know. But I do always like to have some element of time in my work. So I'm thinking I might want some watch parts, some here, maybe, maybe coming down like that, kind of like that. I kind of like this one at the top and that one at the bottom, kind of like that. So I'm just playing around a little bit. A watch nose. <laughs> That would be kind of cute, Carrie, but I think we might lose the pigginess of him if he had a big watch nose. Let's see here. Let me let me tear a little bit. <laughs> it is kind of cute. I gotta admit, it is kind of cute, but we might be losing the we might be losing the pigginess of him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I 
don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll keep it handy, Carrie, in case I change my mind. I'm going to go ahead and paint him first, you girls. All right, so and I do want some kind of a jewel, uh, some kind of a big, you know, here or maybe on his head or her head, some kind of a, I got this purple one. I'm liking purple. Maybe we can go with, because he's pink, you know, he's pink pig. Maybe a pink, or maybe I need a really high contrast something. I could put a purple jewel. I'm just kind of flipping through jewelry. Jewelry uh, collage thing. <laughs> uh, I thought about doing some earrings, you know, like, you know, something like some kind of earrings. But I, I don't want to cover up his wings, so, or her, whatever. So it would have to be studs, you know. Put a stud in his nose. <laughs> but uh, now these are kind of cool. I might kind of like, let's see here. I'm, I'm re I try to, and I tell you all this too. Anytime you do in collage, if at all possible, you can tear your paper instead of cut it. Now, I know there's some things that you need very tiny, exacting cutouts, but if you can tear your collage when you go to paint and blend it in like well that's my style I don't know you know not everybody does painting mixed media collage but if you want to blend it in better it's better if you tear because torn edges will paint in better so I'm not sure I'm thinking that maybe it could be on his ears but also part of the background you know those that might be a little big but the, something like that or even that might just be a good something in the sky. We'll see. I'm holding it out. I might need some smaller ear earrings. <laughs> so we'll see. These are kind of cute. But I'm not thinking. I'm trying to think if I want also if I want a necklace and earrings. Do we want to over, over uh, accessorize her? <laughs> Do we want her over accessorized? I'm just digging here. I tried to pull out like the wings and stuff before I hit record, so I wouldn't be um, I wouldn't be digging too much while I was on on live. But you know, that's just the process. That's just the process. <laughs> so we roll with it. That's kind of cool. I'm thinking, do I want green? Because he's pink, so green might be kind of cool. Might, or she. I keep saying he, but it's probably a she. Let's see. A couple of emeralds, maybe. And these are smaller, so let me just tear these out. A couple of emeralds. <laughs> that might work. We, I think we'll just go with that. We'll see what happens. Now she's going to need something here, but it doesn't necessarily have to be attached to her. It could be some kind of a background or something. And uh, so we'll see. I'm kind of liking it there. Hey, Trudy. How you doing? Anybody else popping in? We're going to do When Pigs Fly. Oh, now that's kind of a cool thing. It's this giant jewel bow. Let's see. It might be a little too big, but maybe we can work work with it. Hmm. It's kind of neutral. <laughs> I'm going to hold it out. We'll see. Um, yeah. And it doesn't have to be jewel. I think maybe that because that's jewel, it needs something else here. I might have to do something else besides um, jewelry. Okay, well, I'm going to stop digging for a little while. <laughs> I'll be here a while. All right, so this is kind of what I want to do. I think I will, you know, start painting a little bit on the pig first. And get him a little shaded in and started before we and I'm just gonna kind of set this aside like I know what it uh, where I'm gonna want it like that so 
Okay, so let's go ahead and start painting the pig. I'm going to start like I usually do with just my water soluble Neo Color crayons just to get a base in. Then I go in with, you know, other uh, pencil, color pencil, acrylic paint, a little of everything goes into these animals. So, uh, yeah. So let's start with some nice bright pinks and kind of a flesh color for his skin. So we're just going to go, I'm just going to go with those two pinks. Everything else we'll do with paint and pencil. Um, <laughs> there you go. All right, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and start and just put in some color. This is just a like a real quick sketch. That's just what I like to start with, not, you know, in these particular kind of uh, pieces that I just like to have a quick sketch and then just play and work with it. These aren't supposed to be, you know, they're not portraits. Let's put it that way. They're just for, they're just uh, having fun with y'all. All right, so he's got a little bit of shading around his eyes. So before I put in too much of the flesh color everywhere else, I'm just going to go ahead and, and get this wetted in with a water brush. Let me get a Kleenex to clean the brush off because these, I know I say this every time, but the Neo colors are very concentrated and uh, stop the camera from moving. They're very concentrated, so you have to kind of continuously wipe off your brush. Do I have water in that? Um, to keep it from being like taking over everything. So I'm, I, I have to uh, kind of continuously wipe off the excess color or just put less of it, you know, whichever way works. But. So I'm just putting some of the shading in here, some of the darker areas. It's not exact. It's not, it's just what it is. Sketching and playing and a little bit of collaging and mixed media. So <clears throat> while I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and tell y'all about uh, Jane's uh, going to do the next zine swap. And I know some of y'all haven't even got yours in yet, but she's going to announce. I don't know any dates on it yet. She did say that she will do another stream. Her use stream is uh, my table today. If y'all want to find her on Ustream and just kind of keep an eye out for when she's going to give us more particulars on dates and things for the next stream. But she has announced it. And if you want to participate, the Gmail that she set up for this is zine, here let me show you, zine2, the number two, zine2me at gmail. That's the email if you want to participate. And uh, it's Lucy Jane. And the theme is elements in your environment, like people, pets, places. She doesn't care if you have a lot, you can have all writing, a lot of writing, just, you know, she doesn't care about the writing part. You can have any kind of style. She doesn't, you know, she's, she's kind of like how we just do, you know, it's just, you know, whatever. Participation is the thing. And so she's here in chat now. So if there's anybody else has any questions or Jane, if you want to tell me anything else, just put a Q and a colon and I will uh, announce it as we uh, stream here today. So that's pretty much all of the information that she's released to us. All right, so now I'm just going to take the flesh color and just kind of put uh, peachy color. And that's going to be kind of the rest of him. Just the bright pink is going to be those, those areas that I just kind of highlighted. So I'm just going to put down some color here. There's one of his little legs, which this is probably all going to get covered up more than likely. And so the theme today of him is when pigs fly. <laughs> hey, wee Udi. Oh, and anybody else that's come in. So I'm just going to just kind of wash this peach color in. And you can see where I've got the graphite will move, even though it's not a water-soluble graphite. But I, I try to be careful, you know, not to get too smeary with the graphite. Um, and like I said, if I was doing this for as a portrait or a commission, it wouldn't, um, you know, like a, a pet portrait or whatever. I, I do it. It's kind of a different process that I do. I don't just do like wild sketches like these. Uh, I do drawings. I do color pencil drawings and I do acrylic paintings. And the sketches that I do would be so light you wouldn't be able to see them on camera. 
they're very very light sketches because I don't want all the graphite uh, mixing in with my colored pencil work or acrylic work so the the pencil that you're seeing here you wouldn't be able to even see it if I was doing a, a portrait um, pet or people commission but for streaming and just having fun this is how we roll <laughs> Okay, so there we go. I just got the basic color. You can't hardly see the flesh color. It's real light uh, under the camera here. And uh, maybe I might need to lighten it up just a tad. Let's give that a whirl. And, uh, I want you to be able to see it some. There we go. Now let me hit it with the heat gun. Just to dry him. Oops, sorry guys, I bumped the camera. So check out Jane's Ustream channel and be on the lookout for more uh, information on the swap. Like I said, I don't have any dates or anything. I don't know that she... Oh, hang on, guys. I just spilled my coffee. It's, you know... Hey, that's normal, right? <laughs> hang on. At least I didn't uh, spill it in my washi tape this time. My heat gun cord got caught around my coffee cup, which that's okay. I need some hot coffee anyway. So hang on, guys. Let me kind of... That's why I have extra carpets on my floor. <laughs> oh, we love live stream, don't we? All right. So since I spilled my coffee, I will let this dry for a minute while I go get some fresh coffee. And... Uh, Thank goodness the washi tape was saved. <laughs> All right, guys, hang on. Let me go get some coffee and uh, remove the heat gun from my path. All right, I think we're good. We're good. It's all good. All right, I'll be right back. Back with hot coffee. All right. Can I do it <laughs> well, thanks for tweeting Kevin Bacon for me, Eileen. That was sweet of you. I'm expecting him to show up any minute now. <laughs> you girls crack me up. Okay, so <laughs> maybe when this is done, I should tweet it to him and offend him. <laughs> we love just to offend everybody on Twitter, don't we, Eileen? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so <laughs> let's go ahead and glue down some of the elements now. All right, now I am going to move the big... Um, I'll probably need it back again when I start, you know, shading and stuff on it. But for now, I'm going to move that away so I can glue. All right, let me get a glue brush out of my water over here. And <laughs> please do. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let me get some. Got a new clean little... Uh, coffee lid there oh look that that's a good light focuser oh okay and uh, i use golden matte medium which i put in a dawn dishwasher <laughs> bottle per sunset carol which works great you can squeeze out just how much you want 
and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead. <laughs> and this is just um, like 60 weight pound sketch paper, nothing fancy. It's not even, it's not even, car it's just thin sketch paper. And we just, you know, we play. All right, so first off, I'm going to just get an area here where I want his wings. Maybe a little bit down here, I think. We'll just slap on some wings on our pig, who is going to fly. <laughs> oh. So I've been having fun sketching and playing with doing these animals. Hope you all have been wa and having fun watching them. Um, what other announcements do I need? Oh, um, I did do the video on and uploaded it to YouTube for anyone that wants to see all the zines. All the zines. Oh, I want this one down here. All the zines that came in. I know a couple of the Canadian girls still haven't received theirs yet, which I, you know, I didn't expect them to until this, you know, it may hopefully by next week. And, um, also, Phoebe, I don't have her, uh, you, if y'all, somebody, oh, let me allow links. If someone has her YouTube channel handy, can show that to everybody in the chat. Um, she also showed the zines. She did, I don't, she didn't read every single one. She read a few of them. And it's a long video, so, you know, but if you want to see them, if you want to see all the uh, zines, from someone else's perspective, other than mine, then uh, she's got a uh, she's got a video up on it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> hey, Ketsia. And you know what? I was just thinking of Ketsia the other day. I need to reshow again the miniature studio. She she replicated my drafting or my table and some of my stuff some years ago and made me a miniature for those y'all that don't know Ketsia and Ketsia if you want to put your uh, blog name in that'd be great <clears throat> Ketsia um, is a miniaturist and she did let me just pull it down here I won't show it right this second but I'll show y'all let's see if I can reach it because it's on my shelf here where nothing will happen to it and uh, the only thing, um, you have to see it when I take the lid off and show you, but Ketsia made me a miniature, and there's Walters even under there, but every one of these little books and portfolios and papers open up and has my artwork in it. She grabbed my artwork off of Viewstream and made little miniature portfolios, so I'll show this here again in a little bit. I'll set it here where I won't knock it over with my coffee and uh, <laughs> show y'all that in a little bit. Yeah, rabbit trail. So Ketsy is an amazing miniaturist. Okay, so I got my wings. I'm a pig and uh, I don't know if I want to glue down. I don't want to glue down any earrings yet because I'm not sure and I still have more work to do in shading and everything. But we're going to get started here. Let me go ahead and um, I'll just set this glue aside for now find a spot for it and uh, so we're going to paint around him and uh, do I want it maybe we'll do well we'll just go ahead and start with black again it's just the easiest just to paint the background black and then put things over the top of it it's just the quickest so I'm just going to get out some pokey tool because you all know oh, that's an exacto knife where's the pokey tool there I'm bad about not closing my acrylic paints. That should be enough. Well, I'm glad you're here, Katsy. I hope you're doing well and uh, feeling well and getting to see your kids and everything. I don't see you around that much anymore, so I kind of miss you. All right, so now let me kind of move this back out of the way just a smidge. And get a paintbrush. Let's see. Let's 
Good to see you, Kelsia. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to find um, something bigger, but not... Oh, here we go. Here's a couple. Let's go with that one. This is medium size. All right. Hey, Darcy. Yeah, I know. It's hard to get the chat from my iPad. I, I don't do well on Ustream on my iPad. I just don't. <laughs> Usually, I say, yeah, I try about two times. I go, yeah, I ain't working. I'll watch the recording. <laughs> I just, I, I don't frustrate myself. Uh, just too much to get frustrated about. I just, you know, I, I just say, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. But thanks for trying and being here. <laughs> We're doing When Pigs Fly. But yeah, I do want to show my Ketsia miniature studio again. I try to show it every few months just because it's so dang cool. Alright, so I'm just going to do a little blending. I don't want to do much around on the pig because he'll, he'll expand over the top of the black. But I want to blend in his little feathers. Yes, the pig's feathers. We're blending in the... <laughs> hey, Colleen. Good to have you. We're doing When Pigs Fly. Or anybody else that's coming in here. And because this has got matte medium over the top of it, I'm able to wipe back the paint. That's why you're able to wipe back paint. Uh, it's because there's matte medium coating it. Now, like if I add some little earrings or something like I have sitting here, if I, uh, if I just glue them on with Eileen's Tacky or something, then I can't really go over the top of them with paint. So I have to realize that that doesn't have a coat of matte medium on it, so I just have to be a little more careful if I want to uh, paint over it. And I know, guys, that some of y'all that have seen me do this so many times, is like, oh, here she says the same thing over and over. But I, it's just I talk out the process as I'm doing it. So if I'm doing the same process, I talk it over again. I'm kind of liking how that's kind of like just forming around his body there. Kind of like, I don't want to look like he's like a head on the wall thing. But... <laughs> But it's kind of cute just like that. So I think I'm going to just leave that like this for now anyway. So I'm going to attach his little wings to his body there. So anyway, I just, uh, yeah, repeat a lot of the steps over and over. You dig a pig with wings? <laughs> oh, you did one. You did a pig with wings, Colleen. Oh, please do post it. Yeah, I don't know who ever made up that saying when pigs can when pigs fly. Um, I've seen, you know, you see it all over the place, and I, so I don't, I can't give credit to who invented that saying. But um, yeah, all right. So there we go. We'll start with that. And I know he's on a black paper there. I mean, uh, let me put my white pad of paper back underneath. So that, oops, I got a little too much there. Just so I have some cushion. There we go. And you can kind of see where the edges are. There we go. Yeah, you have to post a picture. I, was, I think it's Carrie that said, it doesn't count if there's no pictures. <laughs> All right, so let me try this without knocking over another cup of coffee. Oops, I got a little bit of too much paint right there. Okay. Dry this. Yes, he is looking right at you. <laughs> I'm going to, you know, shade him and paint him and do some more stuff to him. I have to decide what other theme I want on him or, or what, you know. It's just something to do so we can, you know, hang out, 
hopefully y'all are doing some sort of art or ideas or You know, last week I re-showed the, you know, I, I, I forget sometimes what we've done over all the years, the file folder book, and it made me rethink some more of the inspiration ideas we've done over the years that I, you know, like to maybe pull those notebooks back out and readdress them and, you know, because we have a lot of new people and then the people that have been here forever can just like, you know, oh well, we're going to see this again. <laughs> Some of the projects that we've done with file folders and inspiration notebooks and inspiration ideas and whatnot. So, oh, good, Katia. Good. <laughs> All right, so I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of wanting, I'm going to have the feathers like come out more. Um, I got to think about how else I want, what else I want to put on. I don't want to call him Wilbur. We, we're not going to call him Wilbur. <laughs> but I'm thinking, do I want some earrings? Maybe I'll just cut the little jewel. Or, well, I could, yeah. Let's go ahead and work on the, let's work on him some more first. There's <clears throat> one Pencils. Oh, and for those of that y'all were here last Tuesday, when we uh, when I I did the little quick tape transfer thing, and uh, I left it in the sink, and I forgot to come back and show you after it sat there the whole show. Here's my little uh, packing tape transfer. When you do the pack, you see how they're translucent. So let me put uh, something behind it here. So whatever you put behind it is going to show through. There we go. You can see it there. So it's just a piece of packing tape rubbed on top of a magazine image. And rub it. you have to rub it in really well if you don't want to lose the ink. And then just soak, let it soak in some uh, warm water. In my case, I let it sit there for two hours. You don't need to let it that long. But the longer you let it soak in water, the easier it is to rub off. I didn't even have to rub off anything. It came right off because it sat there for two hours. And so there's your packing tape transfer if you uh, wanted to see how that turned out. Yeah. Okay, so let's see here. I'm trying to decide, I think I'll just get out some paint, we'll start, no, let's start with his eyes, let's go ahead and put in his eyes, let me get a black pencil here, I took a couple pencils, oh, it's not sharp, I'm going to sharpen them in here somewhere, I think, there we go, um, I did take, let me see, my sketchbook here, I took my sketchbook up, and left a cam draw in it while I, we were sitting there. Let's see, let me see. It was so cute. So just to give you an example of how he's so much more meticulous. I don't want to say more meticulous because I can be very meticulous depending on what I'm doing. But we were sketching out baby koalas. Like they were, I don't know if they were like around a tree. I forget now. But anyway, so I had sketched this little koala and he's all kind of curled up and it's, I, you know, I mean, he's like totally cream color because he's like a newborn. And I said, well, Cam, you do one next to mine. Now look, look how quick mine is. And now look how meticulously shaded Cam's is. Look at the great detail he put in his. Isn't that good? I mean, this is just sitting there sketching. So anyway, I just had to share that with y'all. All right, so let's see. All right, so let's go ahead and put in his, I know, so let's put in his eyes and uh, give him some life. Whoops, see, I always do that. My poor black pencils. I always push too hard. I shouldn't do that. Oh, 
Oh, let's give him some personality. <coughs> I don't want to get that too shaded with black. I'm going to I'm going to do it more with a uh, uh, color. So, but we'll get his little eyeballs in there and just kind of want him to kind of look like he's looking at us. There did it again. Good grief. Yeah, I broke it again. I don't want this to be a cloth stay. Spilling coffee, breaking pencils. <laughs> One of those klutz days, y'all. Y'all ever had one of those? Okay. Just get a few of the areas. There's not really dark, not a whole lot of dark darks other than his eyes, but we'll just put in a little bit. <laughs> Why did he look so Gary, I don't know. I, don't make me go looking for other things. Don't make me go look and see stuff. Like y'all used to make poor Paula look for... Oh, broke it again. There's a... I see a face. I see a face. And Paula's going, what? 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 Where? Don't make me do that. Speaking of Paula, hopefully she will... She's getting her room reorganized. So hopefully she'll be streaming again. Once she gets her... Uh, room reorganized. If you're watching this, Paula, you hear that, don't you? You hear that? <laughs> All right, so now let me get a uh, little bit of white paint and another palette here. And so a couple of shades of pink and peach, and let's just see what we can do. Here's some uh, shake off camera coral. And Kind of like that. That'll be good. I need some more white because I'm going to have to shake, blend that down. <clears throat> and for all these guys, I just use craft paint for all these kind of sketches and stuff like this. And then, so I think I'll go with a peach color. Let's see. I'll get this terracotta if it's, no, it's too pink. Um, for this, these processes. Here's some peach. It's going to be too dark, but I'll uh, white, white it down, open it up. Hang on, I'm trying to get the plastic off a new bottle, which is it one of those craft knives? Yeah, I, I hope she records, because I seem like I, whenever she's a, she does a quick stream or something, it's like I either don't see it being tweeted, I'm not home, and then I go back to watch a recording, and it's not there. Just saying. All right, let me clean this brush off. All right, let me find a little bit smaller brush. Okay. I know, Eileen. I heard after the fact, too. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm also going to need some darker terracotta color. Georgia clay. That probably give me a nice tint. Okay. 
There we go. All right, so those will work. And you saw the tweet? I didn't. Not the laughter. All right, so I'm just going to blend a little. Just going to. So sometimes I like them to leave the whatever. Sometimes I go back with the color pencil, acrylic. It's just like whatever, guys. I'm just, you know, we're just, I think of it as just playing around here. Having some fun. Hanging out with you guys. And hopefully y'all get some inspiration to try. Try some of it anyway. And then while this is drying, I'll take a minute to show my Ketsia house again. All right, so I want a little bit of, and like I said, I'll probably end up going back around on this stuff with color pencil or whatever. Just to... This is just like a little base coat here. Who else have we been seeing on the YouTube and stuff lately? Um, Stephen Mitchell, or Steve Mitchell, the watercolor guy. Um, <laughs> the watercolor guy has a new video up and talking about his favorite things in his studio and this was like this may be like last week since i saw it guys because you know i'm it's kind of been hit or miss for me this week having gone up to denise's this week so um who else is anybody else want to mention any videos that we've seen come out like recently I think I'll go ahead and put more shading up here just around his face because I don't know what I'm going to have going on around there yet so I want to kind of make him feel like he's sitting in a world you know and I'll, this down here probably will get covered up too but we'll go for it <clears throat> Anybody got any videos they want to promote? Talk about people they want to promote. This is the time to do it. Well, anytime's a, anytime's a time to do it on my show because I have open links and you're allowed to post anything you want. Well, you know, within reason. But <laughs> you watch too many people. <laughs> oh, I think we all do, but okay. Now, just kind of getting him kind of a base coat of some acrylic over a little wash just to kind of see where we want him to be. And now it's kind of really wet because I've watered it, a lot of it down. But uh, we'll dry him, and I'll show my Ketsia miniature. So he's coming along. There he's getting there. <laughs> We're going to have to put a little, let's, before I do anything else, let's put a little bit of, uh, where's my, get a stylus or some my pokey tool or a tiny brush, any of it, just to get, uh, get him some eyeballs. Don't want to get any paint on that. No, I don't want a liner. I just want a small, there we go. I just want a small brush. <clears throat> okay, so someone's talking about one of the zines. Who's oh, yes, Darcy. Darcy UK. 
uh, finished a port. She's doing, is it 20 portraits, 18 portraits, sketches of one of, from each of the bands that she saw at a UK, I don't know if it was a fair or a, a art show or something, not, it wasn't just an art show, but some kind of a fair where they had a whole bunch of bands and Darcy UK is doing if she'll post a link to her, it's art dash and dash soul, S O L E, I believe. If that's wrong, let me know, Darcy. But I'm pretty sure it's that art and soul blog spot. And uh, she's going to do sketches of one from each of the band members, I believe, is what she, her plan is. And so, um, yeah, the first one she did was amazing. Amazing. Got too much water there. Where's my something here? ACB Music Festival. Okay. Where was it in the UK, Darcy? What city or town or whatever? And I'll just, you know, I want everybody to go look at it because it's amazing, her drawing. Oh, yeah, you'll you'll love it when she posts a link. She's probably went to grab a direct link for you all. Hang on. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's art dash and soul blog spot. Oh, okay. She can't do it from the iPad. Okay, thanks. Jane's gonna go get it. Yeah, I forget you're at the on the iPad, Darcy. Yeah. So I'm just gonna kind of find find his little eyelids and stuff here, and then I'll probably go back with some more pink over them. Just want to kind of find his eyes. We're gonna find his eyes. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll say the link as soon as someone posts it, but I'm pretty sure it's art dash and soul dash blogspot. All right, so let me just get a little bit here, and then I'll go back over to, uh, I want to show my, whoops, I want to show my uh, Ketsia miniature room she did for me a few years ago. Okay. Yeah, art dash a n d and dash soul s o l e dot blogspot dot com. Yeah, and she did great work over there. Yeah, y'all go take a peek. Take a peek. It's really good. I'm just want to. I'm trying to give them an expression here. I'm just kind of looking at them and thinking, you know, how I want them to kind of, you know, what kind of look I want him to give us. He's giving us the look. <laughs> He's giving us the look. And he's going to have some highlights around his nostrils and Just cute. I just play around with it all over the place as I'm, I'm doing it and just kind of work it all over and decide where I want what. You know, like I said, I tell everybody this is not, I'm not teaching a painting how to paint. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm not a teacher. I'm an inspirer, <laughs> an encourager, not a teacher. But, um, you know, hopefully y'all get inspired to at least, you know, try some things out.
and just have fun hanging out. Okay, let me dry this. Bye, Janet. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, I know. I'm real big on that. CB. Everybody posting their websites, their links, their blogs, their streams, their YouTubes, whatever. Aw, oh, thanks, Colleen. Uh, classes you're taking, y'all can talk about, you know, any paid classes you're taking here. You know, I mean, not with me. I mean, I don't, I don't sell classes. I used to sell a few. I mean, I used to do some private um, color pencil uh, classes but it, it's just um, yeah, it's just not me it's not me to teach classes you know uh, I just don't uh, I'm just not a teacher I mean I can do it you know obviously with you know having kid da two daughters and you know three grandchildren it's not like I can't do any teaching I don't mean that but it's just not my forte you know all right, so let me just go ahead and kind of block this side of his face in a little better. So. Just a little shape there. Some Ning, yeah. See, there's so many Nings. It's hard for me to keep up with. Um, I used to be in a few Nings, but I haven't been in. Um, I think the really the only one I even really kept up with over uh, any length of time was Mistel. And uh, Dana, are you teaching in the next round of Art Soul? What is it again? Is Dana still here? Soul Food. What is it exactly? I forget. I'm sorry soul food something and Dana taught in the last one she had a segment there was like I forget how many artists were in it and Dana was one of course we love our Dana and her beautiful faces but um, I don't know if she's teaching in round two soul food and yes she is okay post a link Dana link us up so that everybody knows when the next uh, soul food Dana <laughs> so that flap on his ear is folded over there same for this one it's got a big ear flap <laughs> see I said I was going to stop and show my Ketsia thing so I better do that this one's has a little Okay, we're going to stop for a minute. He's kind of looking cute, or she, depending on if we put these ear things on her. <laughs> like maybe one there. I don't know. i got to make them smaller. but Maybe some little chain and then hanging down. That would be cute. Chain hanging down. The earrings could be part of a world out here. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, let me real quick, guys, cut this down. Let me cut down the emeralds a little. Cut down the emeralds there. And we'll have them hanging down and turning into something else. We love things that turn into other things. <laughs> All right. So, uh, okay, Dana's inspirations that's two plurals there 
Dana's, D-A-N-A-S, inspirations, plural, all one word, dot blogspot dot com. And there's her information. That reminds me when I say that, Dana, like that, I'll tell y'all this. Um, my family makes fun of me when I was trying to teach the kids how to read, you know, I teach the grandchildren how to read because I started reading really, really young. Uh, my grandma taught me really, really young how to read. And so, and reading's always been very, very important to me. And so I always want, you know, one of the grandchildren, well, th my daughter's read early too, but then, you know, I wanted my grandchildren to read early too. And so when I was first teaching them how to read, I was very, I'm, I'm hooked on phonics. I'm a phonics girl, just saying. I'm all about the phonics. That's got to come down a little and a little bit fatter face right there. Um, I teach pho pho phonetically how to read when I was teaching the kids how to read. And so, um, <laughs> so I would overpronounce things like, for instance, and they, they use this one for the example. See, I don't mind telling on myself, guys. I, I, don't, I don't mind making fun of myself. Uh, <laughs> the When I would, for instance, the word dog, when we'd go like see spot run or whatever, see the dog, guh, and I'd go dog, guh. Well, they exaggerate, and they say, I used to say, dog, goo, and I never said it like that, but they like to make fun of me when they say that, but I would really overpronounce things. I'd overpronounce it because I wanted them to sound things out. So I go dog guh because I'd want them to get that hard G, you know, guh on there. Anyway, I don't know where that was going. All right, let me hit this with a e <laughs> Yeah, maybe Jane. I know. They're both, you know, they're both. Um, Boo's not as much of a reader as uh, Cam is. Because Boo's so busy with her uh, sports activities. But uh, Cam, he's read, he was a 12th grade reader when he was like in 5th grade or something like that. And now he's in high school. And he'll, you know, he'll, he can read any, I mean, he'll read anything. Okay, so there's the start of our little pick and fly. Let me take a second to kind of, I don't want to go to the white paper because I don't want to get a, the, camera to unflash so we're just going to kind of show the miniature right here all right so here we go this is the coolest thing you're going to see all day so it's in a box it's in an acrylic box and she has the i kept the information on the inside the back of the box there all right so let me just kind of carefully and i'll just have to kind of show you one thing at a time so you take the lid off and this the the wall back here is a whole wall so what she did on the wall she has these little bulletin boards on the wall let me see if i can how i can do this pull that out and you have to realize how little look how little this is that's the size of one finger this is the header from my blog so she framed these into like little cork boards so there's the header from my blog and on the other cork board here are all these little all these little envelopes and pieces of these are actually my things off my blog that's where she, i think she got them most of them off my blog and um there's a there's a tiny little picture right there of when we went christmas tree hunting you know looking for our christmas tree there's a little picture of me in front of the high museum and i, I know you cannot see the pictures there's the grandkids rollerblading and they're so so tiny i need to probably figure out a way to photograph this this would be i would love to show this on my blog i mean on uh, on twitter i've shown parts of it on my blog okay so there's the back wall so all this is removable look there's a little table and i'm going to try to bring it up to the camera a little at a time little miniature portfolios here's a little one with look all this art comes out and here are different things. There's one of Mistel's uh, sons that I did a colored pencil of there. Uh, I don't even remember which is which, but she's got all, like, tons. All this is off my blog. All different artwork I've done. And she put it all in a little tiny miniature <laughs> portfolio. Okay? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Hey, Jean. So all that goes in the little miniature portfolio here. It neat more neater than what I'm putting it in. Then she did little two, three little journals. 
that are individual. Now she she got the cut. Co- like this is the actual cover of the kind of the uh, cans and mixed media journals that I did. Tons of these. And look, this is like a replica of the actual journal. These are all off. <laughs> There's that one. There's another one. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing how she did that? And then here's another one that I set up on the actual desk there. And it's just got all, there's my, um, there's my dolly the day it went, after I went to the dolly exhibit at the High Museum. Then I did a live stream where we drew dolly and there's some different things from the exhibit there. So we did a whole journal page about the dolly museum. And so it's just all different little miniature art in the journals. It is awesome, Dana. So she's got all those. She even has my cat, Walter. There's Walter, <laughs> who sits under the table. A little parquet floor. Then she has these little, look at the little paper rack. Look at all, the, every one of those are individuals, guys. Every one of those are individuals. If y'all have not been to Ketsia's, if somebody has, or Ketsia is still here, I don't know, but if her blog, oh my gosh, she's done miniature work that is unbelievable. Then here's a little tray of stuff. And then on the table, now all this is glued down so I can kind of show it to you. There's a little laptop here, and on the laptop is a scene from my Ustream show. So on the laptop, there's a little picture of me streaming. There's a little miniature laptop, and I know it's not going to want to show you all the detail. There's a little coffee cup, tiny, tiny little paint brushes. It's all dimensional, guys. Whoops, it's all dimensional. One of my other, another one of the journals fell off the table. <laughs> um, there's some little flowers, little miniature flowers, little tiny craft paint all kinds of little things on there there's a there's a wad of baby wipes right there it's a wad of baby wipes with paint on them uh tiny little scissors um i'm just trying to see some of the details a little butterfly a tiny little palette knife look at that little palette knife can you see how little that palette knife is And so the, the, I keep one journal thing there and one of the ones kind of flapped open right there on there. I have it set up a certain way. And then it sits on the parquet floor with Walter under the table. And then my little miniature, and I, now you're looking straight down on it, but my little miniature portfolio sits against the leg of that one. I have a certain way I like it to sit up. And then a couple of the journals just sitting here like under the table and like that. And then the whole wall, this slips under the, I should have put this back first, under the parquet floor and makes the wall. See, there's the back wall. And then here's the information about it that stays in the back. Let me see what year she made this. Let's see if she, I, I don't remember the year. Um, November 2010 is when she made this. And it goes on there and um, then here's the plastic that falls right over the top and the whole little studio is inside like that so isn't that just the cutest thing ever I, I have to show it every few months because it's just amazing to me it's just amazing so uh, every time I uh, see it. So did Ketsy, okay, it's, Ketsy's blog is K-E-T-S-I-A-E-L-I-E dot blogspot dot com. Okay. <laughs> so y'all go check her out. She has amazing, amazing work. Now I haven't been there for a while because she quit posting for a while. Have you posted anything recent, Ketsy? I mean, not that it goes out of style. You know, miniature stuff. I mean, you're you just if you've never been there, and even if she hadn't posted in a year, oh my gosh, everything over there is amazing. Yeah. 
so anyway thanks everybody again for being here let me see who i might have missed hey jamie popped in Cass, Cass, did you know that you've been tagged kathy did you know that you were tagged <laughs> not that anybody has to do it but you are tagged kathy uh cb and hey marie who else have i missed I think I've said hi. Hey, KP, and I said hi to Art Unit and Trudy and Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. Um, Ms. Hyper. Hello, Ms. Hyper. You'll fit right in. Carol, Sunset Carol, Colleen, Lisa. I think I've said hi to everybody else. So thanks, everybody, for being here. We got approximately with the guest about 30 people. So thanks, everybody, for being here. We're doing When Pigs Fly. <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to the little pig. And uh, I still want to decide some, you know, some more stuff around the outside. And where's my earrings? I don't want to lose my earrings. Not sure how I want to do the earrings yet. Something like that, I think. That's probably going to work. Something like that. Bigger one here, closer to you. kind of liking that. I think I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to glue them down. Okay, got me a new bottle of Eileen's Tacky. Let me snip. There we go. <laughs> and we're just going to glue those down. And we'll see. Paint around them, paint on them. Okay. That. Probably right about there, I think. Twist it around that way. There we go. All right. Don't tell don't tell Barb there's glitter all over. Oh, and speaking of Barb, let's promote somebody else here today. It's like a, a Friday, you know, a fan favorite Friday. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, promoting other people on Fridays, on like on Twitter and I guess on Instagram. I have an Instagram, but I'm not really ever over on Instagram. I can't keep up with everything. I do well just to get over to even Pinterest once a week anymore. But anyway, so for those of y'all that uh, may or may, I got my card that came with I, my signed copy of Creating Faces. This is Barb Owen, Needle Sculpting from the Beginning, How to Needle Sculpt the Perfect Doll Face. So this is Barb's brand new book, just out. So just go to Amazon and look up Barb Owen, Creating Faces who all, by the way, streams today at 2 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> oh, so there we go. And uh, all right. Yeah, Dana goes, it's great. It's great. It is. I don't sew. Uh, I used to do cross stitch when I was in the, you know, designing cross stitch books, but not really like wasn't a love of mine. I'm just not a sewer. But her, but Barb does so much other things, not just uh, needle sculpting, but that's a book that she just had recently published. She also has another one called out uh, called Normal Doesn't Live Here. Uh, I think it's anymore or normal doesn't live here anymore. Normal doesn't live here. Well, either one. If you look that up on Amazon as well. And that's more of like her, like biography. But uh, she also is, I believe, getting ready to open up um, classes on art journaling. And uh, I accidentally got into her back door of her site. And so I got to go see one. All the classes and they're going to be good guys i really will when she gets uh gets that up and running all right so let's get back to our little uh, drawing here and see what else we want to do um let me get i want to do a little bit more blending i got my colors over here some people like to see the colors and the blending so i'll try to keep that on camera there and uh just, it's just craft paint. That's all it is. Just craft paint. And I just kind of, you know, 
play with blending them and whatever. Uh, so anyway, if anybody has any questions, just holla. <laughs> and I'll go in with uh, color pencils and do more detailed shading. But this is just like a base coat and being able just to, it's, it's something easy to do while I talk to you guys. So I can kind of keep up with chat and hang out and whatever. I don't get it too, uh, I don't go too, well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yes, I'm recording. Jeannie, thank you for asking and good morning again, by the way. All right, so let's see. I want his little ear to really come around this way a little more. His face is going to end right about there, I think, because I don't want—I want to make sure his wings come in there nicely. And I just, you know, kind of do some blending with my hand, some with the brush, depending on the day. <laughs> so I don't really have a particular exact something. But I do want a lot of the pink to be there. I want a lot of pink to show. And then I think there's going to be other things going on there. So let's see. I'm going to lighten up his face. <clears throat> I want to make sure his face looks like it's nice and round there. Are you, are you listening to music, Jean, while you're uh, watching? <laughs> All right, so I'm just getting some more acrylic paint shading in here. Um, I want his face really extra round, so I'm really exaggerating the roundness of his face. The little little pig's faces aren't exactly so round, but I really want him to have a round face. Kind of, you know, just really. <laughs> not, maybe not quite that round. Let me just kind of take that down a little. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so let me dry this. Yeah, I know, CB. CB said, you give a girl all kind of brushes and she uses her fingers. <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to do some background and some more feather work here. But I, the, the paint is on pretty thick. And I have to really have it really dry before I can go over it with colored pencils and other things, you know. Thanks, Carrie. Yeah, this is a kind of a cute one, isn't it? Some of the animals are cuter than others. But I just like to do them however. I'm not, you know, I just, I'm enjoying the process. <laughs> it's not Wilbur, CB. <laughs> We're not going to name him. It's just when pigs fly.
Okay, so I might put a couple more watch components around. And remember, I still wanted something else here. Carrie wanted me to put a pig, you know, a watch for his nose. But I don't, no, I'm not really loving that because then he really loses his little piggishness because his little nostrils, you know. But uh, we might be able to do something else as far as. It's Jean. Okay, Jean, I'm not going to listen to the song right now. But thank you. <laughs> You crack me up, girl. <laughs> Jean cracks me up. All right, so I might put a little watch though around. I got. I'm also going to put some other things in the sky up there. Do I want that there? Because it kind of ties it in, you know. Because the wings are going to come out a little fluffier here. The wings are going to have some tips to them. So I'm not sure. Maybe. Of course, you can always paint over it. Doesn't nothing's ever permanent? Not in my work. <laughs> we can go for anything. All right, we'll go ahead and put that there. Maybe I'll put some green around it. Put some green, uh, more jewels, something around it or something. I don't know. A choker. Yeah, there we go. CB, put some. Uh, put a. Well, I was thinking about having these, you know, the earrings hanging, but then it got into the wings. So that kind of did that out. But I could maybe do a choker. Yeah. Let's see what I could find for that. Okay, so now y'all got to sit here and, and watch me uh, uh, dig again. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's find something. I got I got some green here. Here's some leftover green things, emerald pieces. That'll work. Let me just uh, cut off a couple pieces of emerald here. Scissors, scissors, scissors. To make the choker, because that will tie in with the. That'll tie in with the uh, earrings. Thank you, CB. Good idea. Let's see? Let's see. I think I want this one there. No, this one's longer. Let's go this way. Shorten that one. Anything else going on, guys? Any other things y'all want to promote or seen lately? Or feel free. Now's your chance. Tell anybody about classes you're taking or whatever. So I think I want that. Make sure it goes around his neck like that. So I need to bring that down. Yeah. Let's bring it in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alrighty, now let's see what we can do as far as, you know, well, I, I want to continue with the green theme since we got uh, emeralds going. We'll do emerald sky as well. I think bluegrass green is too blue. So let's see if I can find some. Let's do a couple. Let's do some citron and maybe some just like regular grass green. Let's do these two colors. Let me get another palette back here. That one's got matte medium. Oh, this one will work. They're all dry, so as long as they're dry. All right, so we're going to go with some. I've got to find the pokey tool. We'll go with some grass green and some citron green. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't be shaking it under the camera. Doesn't like that. Palette knife. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna. Oh, it's gonna pick up both greens there. Like that. And we're just going to make a world. 
we're going to make a world back here. I could put some other collage elements to kind of, you know, I'll try not to put water in this one. I know I love my water and clouds and whatnot. I'm going to try, I'll try to keep it, I'll try not to. It's hard, it's hard, but I'm going to have to have some kind of planets or worlds or something back there. All right, so there we go. That should be good. Because he's flying. He has to have some place that he's flying, right? All right, let's put a little bit more citron over here. We might have a couple shooting stars or something over there. Don't want to get it on him, though, because he's not coated with matte medium. Can't erase, like, you know. All right, so let's do that. Let's dry this. Let's maybe get a couple spots here. We'll have to do a giveaway. We'll have to do a giveaway of a of a when pigs fly print. And I tried to get it up on Twitter. It's like within a couple hours, you know. I try to get it up on Twitter, um, you know, within a couple hours of of doing the show, so y'all can like not forget what he looks like. <laughs> I got to get another baby wipe here. Let's see here. And I think we're going to go ahead and make his earrings, or her earrings. Oh, you know, it's, it's a generic pig. It's a generic pig. I'm not even naming it. But make the earrings kind of glow. Because we're going to uh, do the feathers here shortly as well. So let me kind of... Get a start, a new brush. Trying to see where y'all can see the paint, but. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing the little, little tiny, tiny details. As you all know, whoops, I got paint on my shirt. I should have wore a, this is one of my newer shirts. I guess I should have wore an older one. Um, I don't get too fussy on the little details on a stream because it just takes too long, <coughs> Carrie. <laughs> All right, so there's a little bit of, and I'm not done with the pig even yet, but I wanted to get cracking on some, you know, a little bit more of the background there. All right, so now I think I want, I got to add white to the citron because citron is so translucent that if I try to uh, splatter anything with citron, it's not going to show up because it's so translucent. So I'm going to take some of this white and, uh, well, I can always pull, pull out some more white. And um, I need a floppy brush. Here's a floppy brush. When I say floppy brush, I just mean a brush that's real, like, not a lot of, that's not a stiff brush. And I'm just going to get some white and green and get me a star world going on here something to work with i'm not gonna i won't put a lot there's because the pig takes up so much of the paper you know the space i don't have a lot i'm gonna put a little on his ears though i want his earrings her earrings whatever don't email me to um have some of the stars because i think i might do 
I don't know if I want to do the hands coming out in green. I think I, I want to do that. I think I want to have some watch hands coming out in green. Green watch hands. All right, so let's just go ahead and make a few little worlds here with a smaller brush. Hope y'all can see. Can y'all see? I'm not done. I'm not even done with the pig yet, but you know, I kind of go back and forth. All right, so um, I want. Um, I'll probably have a couple shooting stars here. This one right here. I'll have this have a little bit of glow. And same for this one. I want this to have like a glow to it. Y'all see okay? I hope. Don't want it too symmetrical. In other words, I don't want it all like lined up like little shooting star soldiers. <laughs> I want them to kind of be like off the page and coming out from behind him, maybe a little bit. Now I got to do some feather work here. Thanks, guys. want this to be an arrow. I want some kind of a more let's make that into some kind of an arrow there. For whatever reason it just needs like coming through there. My sound effects guys. Seems to be a little bit more angled. That's like my whole little, <clears throat> whole another like little nebula going on there, whole little world thing going on. I'm painting the song. Well, I don't know what the song is, Jean, because I didn't go. I can't go while I'm streaming. And, well, you know that. I know you didn't expect me to. <laughs> All right, so I'm still deciding. I'm not sure what I want else on, on him. He's got to have more life to him. He's got to have more something, something going on. But I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided yet. 
right. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a little. Let's let's put this collar on his neck. Her neck, whatever. <laughs> Don't email me. We'll do some feathers. We'll probably have to play. What time is it? Oh, it's only 1030? Wow. We started a little early, but not that early. How long have we been here? Let me see. An hour and a half. Is that all? It seems for some reason. Maybe it's because I was gone for a couple days. It seems like I've been here for at least two and a half hours. And it's only been an hour and a half. Oh, Susan, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. I just saw uh, Jeannie say something. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. So I'm just going to take a little water and kind of define his cheek there. Need another baby wipe. I'm just calling it a him. Y'all can call it whatever y'all want. I'm not sure what kind of else thing I want around here. Sometimes it just doesn't come to you right off, you know. I try to make a three-hour finished or not, you know, 99% finished. But sometimes I just don't know if I can finish it in this time. Sometimes things come to you really fast, and sometimes you got to kind of like just look at it for a little bit. Okay, now I do want this to be more. I'm going to have some shading and shadow around there. And I'll just get the shadow here and then I'll blend it out with some of the peachy color. But I have to get it right on the actual item there. Like that. Then I'll take a bigger brush. Let's see. And go back over here. See, now I'm going to want a whole world in here. I'm going to want a world on the pig. I'm going to want something else going on down here. Something else is going to have to be going on down here. He's going to have to have another little scene, another little something going on. Don't know yet, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> Just visualizing it. I'll stop for a minute though. A tiara. Um, well, I think that, yeah, see, I'm thinking this is enough jewelry, but there's there's probably going to be another something else. But I'm not done painting him yet. Let me dry him real quick and just think. <laughs> Y'all wanted me to clothe my pig. <laughs> oh, if you're watching the recording, everybody's telling me how to dress, dress it. <laughs> Let me do the wings next, guys, because that'll help me kind of decide. I think I'm gonna put some wing on wings on his ears too, feathers. So he's gonna be more. He's gonna be uh, partially feathered, you know.
I still got to do, you know, all the shading and blending and all that. Sometimes I'm quicker than other times. Just depends, guys. You know, it kind of comes to me as I'm doing it. Yeah, I don't want it to be pigs in space. I mean, it is in space, but I don't want it to be like an astronaut pig. I want it to be, oh, sorry, I was yelling. I want it to be feathery pig. All right, so let me get a brush with some, well, let's do some feather work here. Let's see, I need a different brush. Let's get this. Okay, so let's see here. I need a little bit of black because I want some gray. I'm going to start off with some gray wings and then um, I'm going to do need more white. Um, and then I'll lighten them up, you know, uh, highlight them. But I just kind of want a little bit more gray at the start. Okay, so my idea is these feathers are going to, they're going to come up like this. So you can kind of see I'm working with the feathers that are there, but I don't want to be like limited to that. I want to just kind of, you know, kind of feather this out. Maybe they'll come around a little, a few, a few like little strays like this. It can be very feathery. Like right now, I'm just kind of putting them kind of gray because I'll go back and put a few feather more, um, make them more highlighted in a minute but I just kind of want to define where they're at or where they are Let's see all right same for up here I'm going to want them to kind of feather up like this and come right off the page like that okay so you can kind of see how we work those in <laughs> Maybe, um, and I might want a couple coming right over his, but I, I'm thinking this is going to be something else going on here. I think I'm going to have another, like, maybe, uh, I don't know yet. I'm not sure, but there's going to be more because I'm not happy with this is too, not enough. All right, so let me come back over here with some more feathers. I'm just kind of want to kind of Line off here. Yes, it was Jeannie. Well, it was. I think it was part of a part of the Muppet thing. Pig uh, or it was something to do with the Muppets. Pigs in space, you know. <laughs> but this is a pigs can fly. <laughs> When pigs fly, I want to make sure I say that. Not if it when I want it to be when pigs fly. All right, so you can kind of see I'm kind of getting the feathers kind of bigger and going off. Now, what I want to do is I want some feathers coming off of his ears, and I'm saying his in a generic sense. It can be whatever. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Let's we'll see how we can do this. This is just the this is just the gray undercoat, and I'll put some uh, I'll put some white over it. This is just to have a base coat for the white to go on top of. To kind of cover up my arrow, but that's all right. See, I'm going to have to get rid of my arrow now. It's conflicting with my featherage. All right, let me go in with some. Let's get rid of that.
pigs start flying. <laughs> hey, Julie, by the way. Mm. And I still haven't even finished his ears. I'm going to go back in and do some more shading and all. Well, I, got, I really haven't finished anything on his face. I just got a little ahead of myself because I wanted the feathers on his ears. So. And I'll go back in there and I'm going to add more detail. Like you'll see me draw my feathers. I'm not sure I want it to be into like a, a real, like a feather feather. I want it to be more like feather ridge, you know, like this, not an individual, you know, feather with a middle thing, you know, like, in other words, not, not like, no, not necessarily wanting a feather like this. You know, one of these kind. Yeah, see now I want to paint feathers now. A little green in it, a little green feather. Anyway, I don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, let me. I'm gonna to have to go back in there with some more ear because I'm losing completely losing his ear and I don't want to do that so let's go back and kind of define where his ear is and then just have I don't want him to look like he has a hairy ear but he sort of does I'll have to define that a little more all right so now let me go back in here with shading under there and then I'll go in with colored pencil all right, let me stop right quick. <laughs> Jean's probably napping. Get on some shading around his nose with some color pencil. Move my pokey too. Mm -hmm. So now, let me, um, I think I'll do a little bit, let's see, move my video colors, well, I'll come back here, all right, roll it away, and get some, uh, want a terracotta. All right, hang on guys, I gotta dig through my pencils here a minute. Kind of liking this has a little peach to it. Like that. And a little darker. Those two. Don't want any oranges. I want a flesh tone. A little bit of pink. And another brighter pink there. And do I want this one or this one? I think I want that one. And I got my terracotta. Do I want any? Okay, I think I'm going to start with those colors. That should be enough. All right. Let me sharpen a couple of these. Anything else going on in chat, guys? Anything else? Promoted? I need to talk about. Okay, so let's see. If y'all do, just you know, put a Q and a colon. All right, so now I'm going to start putting in some of the uh, 
some shading here. And that's right under his... I'm going to want that to kind of fly out like Yeah, I'm going to need another peach. All right. All right. I'm just going to be doing this for a minute, guys. If you all have anything you want me to talk about or ask or we can you know, bring up or whatever. Because I'm going to do a little bit of shading here now. Yeah, who's, uh, who's doing the studio cleaning challenge? My studio doesn't need cleaning. It needs to be, like, just, like, sorted, as they say in the UK. Because <laughs> it's not really, it's not, everything in here is really organized. I know where pretty much everything is, although I couldn't find any feathers this morning. But, uh, I, you know, it's not that it's not organized. It's just that it's like I have a lot of stuff. I could just like get rid of a lot of stuff, you know. I could really get rid of it. Let me see. Where's my white pencil? I need my white pencil. I could really just get rid of a lot of stuff. And um, that is it, and that requires me like going shelf by shelf and really just, uh, it, it's just going to, it's a lot of work. Y'all know. <laughs> so I want it to look like these feathers are really growing off the ear, not just stuck on there. And then this is behind, on the back side of that ear, so it's not as much. This one's on the front here. But uh, anyway, so that's really what I need to do. But it's almost like, do I want to do it in the winter? Or do I want to do it in the spring? I don't know. And y'all can't see my mix mixology over here. Just want a few little hairs. I don't want it to look like he's furry over here. Let me kind of weed that down a little. And I do need some neo colors over that white. Don't want them so. I want them pink. I want to keep them pink.
Sherry. Okay. I think I have one that is white it needs to go either in the microwave or the oven. <laughs> re re connect this lead. Yeah, I'm just not sure yet how I want to do something else on the on his body. You know, I want a few flying feathers everywhere. All right, let me get back to blending the ears. How was school today, Jean? I could get my liner out too here. That's probably what I need to do. <clears throat> for these for for these feathers rather. liner. I'm just working on the ears right now. i got to work my way around to the nose. But I want a few longer wispier. Feathier. More feathery. But not like individual. More like what's on a, you know, a bird of paradise. Those kind of long feathers like that. Those long wispy feathers, that's kind of what I'm going for on his ears. So they're a little wispier. I want a couple going up this way. So 
it's kind of going into the space scene, you know, kind of going to the background like that. got to decide what I want down here because I'm going to want these watch hands. I'm going to want two green watch hands coming off the clock there, the watch. And I really can't do that till I decide what's going in there. Just don't know yet. So let me just go ahead and add the in, a little bit of the feathers that I want to accent here with the liner. These little things, I mean, I don't want to spend all day on them, but you know, sometimes some of it takes a little longer. Right, Carrie? <laughs> I'm just teasing Carrie because hers was the last video I watched on uh, the last stream. And she was fussying with all the little designs. I thought, oh, it looks, but it did look good, Carrie. It did look good. You did a good job. Just saying, it did turn out. <sighs> if y'all have somebody y'all are wanting to talk about, I'll tell, I'll put it on stream. I mean, I'll put it on recording if y'all put a cue and a colon so I, I know to address it. Alrighty. So I'm just kind of going over the gray underpainting of the feathers that I did so that this, the white stands out because it's on top of the gray. And I'll go in there with some dark pencil too and add a few more. kind of fall on the same contours make some Little hair, little feathers, rather. So you see a few little feather fronds or whatever there are. But I don't want it to be too obvious. I mean, I want it to look kind of like it's kind of far away. Give the illusion that the wings are bigger than they are right here, you know? Okay. Has anybody else been tagged that, uh, hey Claire, has anybody else been tagged lately? Let me uh, get my, go back to my pig nose here. So since I was gone for a couple days, I probably missed a couple tags. From the Artie Dar tag challenge thing. Hey, 
Hey, Moomy. Did anybody else say if there was another tag? My dark brown. Oh, okay. So, Claire, you did one. Okay. And, Claire, what's your... Uh, um, blog name again i'm sorry is it is it claire got paint in my hair i i mean post the link so i can repeat it exactly because otherwise it's like you know yeah phoebe answered two tags okay we hootie <laughs> I got a pencil mark right there. I'm going to have to paint over. Got paint in my hair, all one word, dot blogspot, dot co, dot uk. Thanks, Claire. Yeah, she got, to, we've all been tagged lately. Uh, I know there's a couple different ones going around. I went, I was on the Artie Dar one. Um. Oh, green in there. I don't really want green in it. Yeah, it's a little bit of... It's okay, a little bit. I'm going to put a uh, coat of uh, Neo Colors over some of this right there. Got a little green in my brush, but that's all right. I'm going to go over it with the Neo Colors. Let me dry this. I get the shape out. Now I gotta add my white back in. Or light, light pink. Alright, let me get I'm gonna go back with my uh um, neo colors here. Mm -hmm. 
then I'll add some more. I just layer it and layer it. It's like, like not one thing. Just get some more base color in before I go back over it with some more white. Okay. Let me dry that. <laughs> it's the flying, it's if pigs could fly or when pigs fly. I keep wanting to say that. I want to make, you know, when pigs fly. I gotta write that down because I keep saying it wrong. Yeah, it's a little bit of everything, Claire. But you know, start it out with some neo colors, then go back with acrylics and all kinds of you know color pencil. And so now I'm going to go in there with some more white. Um, let me get another brush. No, no, where's the brush? I want here. This one will work. And just a tiny bit of pink, just a little bit, just a pink. Pink that up just a tad. Oops. Okay. Just going back and forth depending on what, how dark or how much I want to cover. Just a little bit of a few little hairs there. And I'll go back in and shade around his eyes with colored pencil. I want his face fat, but I want it a little squared off too. So I'm not really don't want to lose this side of this face right there. Have you seen my animals I've been doing lately, Claire? I've been doing a whole bunch of different animals with mixed media. So
and start to see them kind of. I'm going to go back with my black here. Oh, thanks, Claire. I just didn't know if you'd seen them lately. Sharpen. All right, well, I think what time is it? I've been here two hours. Yeah, I'm going on two hours and 12 minutes. So I was going to stay for two and a half. So I'll work on it for a few more minutes. But in the meantime, we will do a giveaway of a print of him, her. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I kind of want a little bit more of his, her, whatever, don't email me, um, a little bit of the, no, too gray, let me go over here, to, where's my white, here we go, a little bit more like the eyes look um, like they're, I don't want to say not puppy, but the, like the little eyeball lids or the underneath the eyes are like squint, not squinting exactly, but when you smile, you have your eyes kind of do that. Does that make sense? Like that. Need a little bit more depth to the nostrils here. And the same thing for around his mouth is a little too, uh, too cartoony. I don't quite want the mouth as uh, smiley. I'm going to have to kind of work on that a little bit, a little bit more shading around the mouth because it's too, uh, like a little, I mean, they are kind of a cute mouth, but it's kind of like, let me see, like for instance, I can get rid of some of this side and bring it down, not so exaggerated.
and this will just take a little bit more time. But I'm still got, I still got I still got something else to do down here. I'm not quite sure what. I want some other kind of world or something down in here, and I'm not quite sure what. I'm going to also want more um, lighter tones on his face. So it looks, I'm going to say it, <laughs> a little more dimension. Which is going to take a couple more coats, guys. It's just going to take a couple more coats of blending and shading. I'm going to want this a little rounder. But you can start to see. Same thing for up here. I'm going to want some more. I know it looks a little, because the, the one it's wet. So when it gets dry, I'm going to want a little bit more accent around the eyes to make them look like, hmm? What? What? <laughs> So I'll have to play with that a little bit too. But I don't want them to start looking furry, you know? I don't want them to start looking, I mean other than the ears. I don't want them to start looking hairy. So I'll just have to play with them for a little bit longer. And then I'll post them on Twitter. And, and by the way, I do post all these, or pretty much all of them on my blog. I always forget to mention it's uh, Inky Well, I N K I, Inky Well dot blogspot dot com. And I always forget to mention my own blog. <laughs> I know. I just forget to mention my own blog all the time. But that's, um, so if, I, if you ever see one of my videos here and I'm not finished with it, if you go over there, you'll see it. Um, You'll see it done. Okay, I want them pinker. I want them pinker over here. You'll see them um, finished on my blog. Because sometimes I don't have time here. Okay, so I want to kind of bring his little face around. Any questions or anything, guys? We'll do a giveaway here in just a minute. So when you want to see him finish, because like I said, down here I want something else. I want more of the world something going on down there. Another something else going on around down here. And his little smiles be a little less. Uh, it'll be a little less defined. It'll be more of a kind of a. More defined than that, but not quite as. Not one straight line. start to see a little bit more life to him. And more shadows. More shading. Any questions, guys? Oh, question. Finish the pig. You want to see it? <laughs> Uh, well, I'm going to run out of time, Jeannie. I'm going to run out of time. I'm getting at, I'm getting at the uh, two and a half hour mark. And Barb streams at two, so I don't like to go too late into Fridays. I'm just going to keep adding shadows and highlights and back and forth. You can kind of see how it's going. 
little more blending here and there. And I just kind of go in and touch it up. And then I'll go back in with some pencil shading, you know. And you can't even see what colors I'm using. I, I try to keep my palette like handy <laughs> so y'all can kind of see what I'm using just a little bit more. And the, the real white whites on his eyelids, I might be uh, toning down with some neo color, but I just want to get the know where I'm going. You know, I want to know where I'm going with my. Okay, I'm going to stop for right now. Although it's real hard to, I want to pick up some white on my finger and a little bit light and kind of round his cheek there. Now it's wet again. <laughs> Barb's doing a drive-by. Barb's doing her drive-by. To do today, Barb. Yeah, I'm thinking I want some kind of a scene down here. I don't know. It just, I'm not happy with it just being like part of a body. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet, though. Just can't quite decide. Just can't quite decide what I want to do down here. Get some of my green paint off there. I just play with it till I figure out, you know. Maybe like a shoulder. <laughs> I think I want a whole scene down here, though. I think that's what I'm going to do. It will be a surprise. <laughs> it will be a surprise. It's... Yeah, I don't want it to be, I mean, the feathers on the ears, I think, is enough. Um, did my recording stop? No, my recording did not stop. Sometimes I freeze for just a second, though. Oh, maybe it did stop. No, it's still going. 2.25. Uh, sometimes I freeze for just a second when um, 
I get incoming mail. Sometimes when I get incoming mail, like a whole bunch of it, it'll freeze me for a second. So I need a little bit more. shape inside that ear. You're going to carve stamps? Oh, that'll be good, Barb. We'll enjoy that. I showed your book earlier, by the way, Barb. Told everybody go get go get it on Amazon. Go get your barb book. I want this ear to look like it's attached to this little thing there. But if when I finish this, guys, I'll post it on my blog and on Twitter so y'all can kind of see a little bit more of the detail, which I'm not going to have time to finish. Okay, i got to stop or I'm not going to have time to do the drawing. You know? I'll keep working on it, though. So you can kind of see there a little bit. I know my lighting's horrible, guys. We'll fix it up. Eventually, I'm going to get some new lighting. But I'm, what I want to do now is I do want to take my colored pencils and go in and do more, um, you know, hang on, broke another one, uh, more pencil shading and more detail like around the eyes and the nose where you'll see more depth to it. I just, I just, oh, you know, two and a half hours, guys, just only can get so much done, right? <laughs> only can get so much done in two and a half hours. So this will have to do for today. Any questions or anything, guys? Yeah, Darcy, you got tagged by a couple different people. You know? <laughs> it's jewels. Jewels and a clock. Which, like I said, somehow, guys, I'm just going to have to... I'm going to put another world down here on the body. I'm not liking the body part. I don't really, you know, I'm not sure what I want to do, but it's going to be something different. I'll have to think about it while I'm watching Barb's show. <laughs> put something else down here. This is all going to do something, but I'm not sure what. Huh. 
<laughs> That's a good one. All right, well, you can kind of see see where it's going. I'm not sure what else I want to do down here, if I want to put a whole scene or what, but I'm really liking when pigs fly. i got to remember to do that, when pigs fly, not if, when. <laughs> okay, so we will do a drawing for a print of the pig when it is done. You can kind of see a little bit where it's going. I got, a lot, I got a lot more shading to do, guys. I really wanted to concentrate on these feathers. And so, but I'll uh, post a picture of it when I'm finished. So like I said, if you're watching the recording and uh, you want to see the finished thing, look at my blog. Inkywell, I N K I W E L L, inkywell.blogspot.com, or on Twitter or Facebook. I'll post it a couple places. So, well, you know, this is how I feel about art. What you see in it is what is in you. So, what does that say? I don't know, Darcy and Claire. I'm not sure what y'all are seeing in that. <laughs> oh, hey, Dar. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do a drawing. We'll do between 1 and 30. I know there's a lag, so I'll take my time. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to put in a number between 1 and 30. First person closest without going over. I'll send you a, uh, I won't call it what Claire and Darcy did. <laughs> and a print of uh, when, when pigs fly. And uh, yeah, I will type in the word go. Wait till you see the red go. And then give me a number between 1 and 30. Closest without going over. One number only, please. Okay? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to write down a number. Wait till you, and I, and I know there's a lag, so I'm going to wait a second till uh, everybody hears what I've said. <laughs> One number only when you see the red go. And I'll give everybody a minute to, you know, put their numbers in. Piggy wants a pig <laughs> dar. <laughs> I'll let everybody have a minute. I've got to remember what I wrote. When I, st when I see numbers not moving, I'll type in a stop. All right, I'm not seeing any more numbers being put in. So I'm going to type in stop. And let me go back. The number's 25. I didn't see a 25, so let me scroll back here. I don't see a 24. Um, the, I see a couple 23s. The first 23 I see is Miss Deb. It looks like it's Miss Deb with the first person that put 23. So Miss Debren.
Yes, we know there's lag. Okay, so Miss Deb, I will send you a print of When Pigs Fly when it's done. I have to finish it. <laughs> I'll finish it up and I'll show y'all picture, but you get the idea. You know what? If it's going to be a girl, you know what she needs? She needs a little mole. <laughs> She needs like a little beauty mark, you know, needs a little beauty mark. <laughs> but I really didn't want it to be real cutesy. I wanted it to, I wanted to have a little realism to it. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. So anyway, we'll wor I'll work on it and pit post a picture of it. But anyway, you can kind of see we got some feathers and flat, you know, things going on. This is going to all change down here. I don't know what's going on down there yet. And I got to finish shading the face with some colored pencil, but there we go. Well, I hope you all just enjoyed hanging out. And uh, you're welcome. <laughs> it's good to be back. I was gone for a couple days. You're welcome, CB. And thanks again, every... Oh, let me uh, readdress the uh, new zine swap if y'all are just coming in. Um, Lucy Jane is going to host another swap. And if you want to participate, then email her at zine to me at gmail to Lucy Jane. The, I'm not sure when she's going to want to the deadline to be. She said that she would tell us more on her stream, which her stream is uh, My Table Today. That's the name of her Ustream. She said she, so y'all kind of check over there every now and then. Uh, the theme is any elements in your environment, people, pets, places. You can have lots of words. Lots of pictures. She doesn't really mind lots. You can do however you want. And she will be giving us more details on her stream and I'm sure on Twitter and whatever. Different places. Okay? So check out that if y'all would be interested in doing another swap. And uh, yeah, and we'll see you uh, later this afternoon, hopefully at Barb's. Bye, guys. <laughs>